Nebula Nedi. Greetings, your presence has been acknowledged. Let us commence proper conversation. I am not familiar with you. You must be new. Welcome to the Nebula. Yes, I am the Taskmaster. You can do my task once you prove you're here to stay. Gather some monster parts to show that you're ready to take on World 4 task. 200 purple mushroom, 400 remotes, and 750 half-eaten donuts. And this is a pretty good reward. 48 cooking ladles. I have a feeling this might be once per account. This is acceptable. You may proceed to the task TV behind me. Here are the new World 4 Merit tasks. I have 200 fire when finishing a recipe in kitchen. Deal 200 damage in a pet battle within 5 second time frame. The massive troll boss is not yet fightable. I heard he finds that hilarious. Yeah, it fits the lore. Upgrade meal turkey a la thank to level 2. Light up 4 lab features at the same time. Bonuses and jewels both count. Complete 5 Hyperion Nebula achievements. Read a squirrel pet 5 times. Equip 4 ships across all players in the lab. Defeat 1 crystal monster from any world. Oh, that's daily. Well, that's that. Let's check out the marriage shop. The first kills each day are guaranteed to be a crystal monster. Wow, this is super huge for non-active players. Egg capacity in the nest. More pixel length in the lab mainframe for all players. And the usual one, all mobs respawn faster. Boost max level for spice pillage talent. Convenient spice claiming. Ooh, not sure what that is. Unlock recipe to craft troll shoes. Let's see if we can unlock a few items here. Hey, this works now. We can complete that. Let's check out the lab. Do I get any achievement in here? So we have three people dancing. Come on, people. You can see us trying to dance. Oh well, another time maybe. We got the lighten up. Here we go. We have three points. Hmm. I will save my points for now. Slash before mush. Then let's summon the slash guy. Oh, at the same spot. Nice. Ah, and you instantly go the wrong way. Now let's go to world four and defeat the mush. Hey, Mutant Massacre. Find a gem, some keys, and some ladle. Hey, look. I'm an Easter pet. Hooray. I did a few easy tasks here. I'm gonna do some other ones later. Nothing seems to be impossible right now. Well, except the Begone Troll. I'm not sure what I will buy here. Do note that this is really good. However, there is a quest that is a lot easier if you have a lower respawn rate. So you may want to do that quest a few times before you buy these AFK kills per hour. But then again, who knows? This is, like I said, really good. But I'm gonna buy this skill here, the Spice Village. Let's see what it does. Chance to claim all pet spices when claiming one hour AFK gain. Now, is this free spice? Or does it count into your spice collecting? That is the question. The word on Discord seems to say that this does not use your daily claims. So I guess that makes it decent. And this is only 8 pixels in total. So I will not buy this right now. This is by far the best one. The respawn rate. However, like I said, that quest will get pretty damn hard. Of course, it's just a crappy quest. So who cares really? If you play active, this one is not that special for you. But someone like me that never gets crystal monsters normally. I actually think I want to buy one of these levels. And of course the egg capacity. I think I will buy one level. And one of these. Give me some more crystal monsters. Now like I said, if you play active and you usually get a lot of crystal monsters. You don't have to buy this. Then you should probably focus more on this here. The respawn rate. And we'll say prior one. Prior two. Prior three. Four and five. Well, I guess this one is technically prior two. But who knows how long it will take until the troll is here. Maybe we will have tons of points by then. But let's read out all the achievements. Milky Wayfarer. Reach World 4. The purple one with the outer space stuff. Team exclusive. Get an RNG item. Gems and candy. Channel surfing. Have a stack of exactly 75,000 TV remotes in your storage chest. Nebula background screen. I like this pet. Get a breedability 3 heart on at least two pets within a nest. Pet breedability multiply goes up 1.20 times faster. Have six bronze or rarer eggs in your nest at the same time, waiting to be hatched. I guess this is just a random one you will get eventually. 10% faster incubator speed. Barley lost. Fail a pet battle with the enemy team having only 5% HP or less. Wait, it's spelled how? 5% 
pet fight damage. Cabbage patch. Have five kitchen all cooking cabbages at the same time. Remember gamers, eat your vegetables. They ain't so bad. 10% meal cooking speed. Good plate. Upgrade a meal at the dinner menu to the point where it gets a diamond plate. RNG item. Space party. Dance with at least five other people while you're all in world four town. 2% arcade balls. Bottle capital. Have a stack of exactly 800,000 bottle caps in your storage chest. 10 star tab talent points. 100 times a day. Claim spices by any means 10,000 times. Like individual claims. Progress 34. 8 tab 2 talent points. Mythical gamer. Reach level 125 on any character. This used to be a huge deal. Now it's just a big deal. Steam exclusive. I love these pets. Get a breedability 7 heart on at least 15 pets within the nest. 10 tab 3 talent points. Gilded shells. Have 12 gold or rarer eggs in your nest at the same time waiting to be hatched. Eggs increase rarity 1.10 times more often. Trash a total of 2500 pets. How could you be so heartless? So cold. Steam exclusive. We get a 72 hour time candy. Le pretzel blue. Le pretzel blue. Blue? 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 I don't know. Have eight kitchens all cooking pretzels at the same time. Don't get it twisted. Dumb pretzels are the real deal. 20% meal cooking speed. Notice the eight kitchens. We can take almost the entire play base together and we won't be able to afford eight kitchens. Kitchen six, five void. Kitchen seven, two luster, 13 void. Kitchen eight, 60 luster. Kitchen 9, 20 star fire coin. And kitchen 10, 10 of those red ones. Oh well, let's go back. Michelin ranked. Upgrade any kitchen stat to level 300, giving you an elite crown over the upgrade bars, thus resulting in dopamine. RNG item. Wow, that's fast. Have a speed of too fast displayed while cooking an eggplant. No, this is not a metaphor. 2% arcade ball. Shipping away. Claim 25 ships from the ship repository. I was gonna make this 250. But people from the future told me not to. Progress 1. More arcade ball. 2% is nothing, by the way. So yeah, these are very, very small bonuses. Great plate. Upgrade a meal at the dinner menu to the point where it gets a purple plate. 2% arcade ball. 0G scoring. Get a score of 10 million or more in the Astro Coliseum. 5% cash from monsters. Too many tentacles. Have a stack for exactly 10 million regular balls in your store chest. Green stack, bro. 3% arcade ball. Matrix Wickerman. Accumulate 8760 hours or an entire year of lab EFK time across all players. RNG item. Progress zero. I guess I haven't logged into anyone. Stars among stars. Complete all constellations in the Hyperion Nebula. That's what World 4 is called, by the way. Eternity Beach background. Best plate. Upgrade a meal at the dinner menu. To the point where it gets a void pearl plate. 10% lower cost to upgrade meals at the dinner table. Hibernating Gamer. Claim 110,000 hours of AFK time. Jeez, that's like an entire year of all characters idling to the max. 70,000. Almost there. Mutant Massacre. Defeat both mutant minibosses, the world 3 slush and the world 4 mush. You must defeat slush before mush in that order. Steam exclusive. RNG item. Bland dish. Secret achievement. What exactly were you expecting to cook? An invisible meal. Plus six tab one talent points. If you want to know how to do this, it's very simple. Let's go to recipe, remove all items and click begin recipe. And then you finish it. I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but that's a reward for watching this far into the video. Level 5 nothing. Ah, I see you enjoy reading upgrade flavor text as well. Steam exclusive. Soda poisoning. Beat wave 50 of Clash of Cans with 3 poisonic elders at level 5 or higher. Also, you can't sell towers. Starfield belt background. And that's all the new achievements. The rewards are nothing special, especially if you compare to the world 3 ones. Wow, I only killed 369 crystal monsters. Like this, total damage, ease access, class XP, max book level, only 382. Catch a total of 1000 fish across all fishing minigame plays. Progress zero. Oh my god, it didn't even count the ones I have played. What the hell? What the hell? I only used 8 pens. Wow, I only was sent one room. Damn, I feel like it's not counting everything I've done. Well, that's it for these world for merit task and achievements thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye